So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, make a line art that looks like uh, 2D art on 3D in Blender. So let's get started. Uh, it's not a like big thing. It's not a long. It's not a long tutorial. It's just a little, just a tiny little thing you should do. Uh, first of all, I'm going to show you. I have already made a tutorial about freestyle. Uh, if you select this uh, object and go to freestyle in this render properties and check this freestyle here, if you go to render and render image, and you can see this thing, the outline is there. Okay, that's one way to do it, but um uh, freestyle is not going to be shown on 3d viewport even when you go to this um render preview it's not going to show the lines but there is something called line art so if you select this object and go to add grease pencil and then collection line art or object line art, line art, whatever you choose, uh, doesn't make di uh, any difference. But if you have a lot of uh, different objects, you better choose collection line art. That way, you're gonna see line art on all the objects. So let's go to collection line art. Now you can see we already have this line. But if you rotate this, okay. It's not gonna be seen as uh, as good as you want it to see, because well, how it works is you gotta uh, what you need to do is you need to be on camera view mode, okay? So if you are on camera view mode and um, so, well, what I did was Control Alt and number zero on number pad. That shows the camera view. Once you go to camera view, uh, by the way, if you don't want to go to like, um, if you don't want to um, use shortcut keys, you can just go to this toggle the camera view. That shows the camera view. If you go to number zero or number pad, it's going to show camera view. But if you rotate like this, and then if you go to, if you just uh, press Control Alt and number zero zero on number pad, it's going to change the camera view to what you are looking at right now. So after that, what you have to do is once you have set your camera view, you have this little thing here, arrow, just click and drag. And then here, there's something called view. And then you have lock. So it says lock camera to view. So click on or check the camera to view option. Now, what happens is when you drag or rotate uh, uh, or move your you know view it's gonna lock i mean it's gonna show the camera view it's always show the camera view so now if you see there is line art always there okay the orange thing is there because i have selected the object if you deselect it now you can see it properly, but you can see like uh, it's very thick and doesn't look that good. Uh, you just need to go to you need to um, click on the object, and then you have to go to this uh, modified properties. Sorry, uh, instead of clicking on clicking on the object, you're gonna choose the line art from this scene collection. Okay. Click on line art. Now you're going to see this option on um, modified properties. Uh, and go down here. 
there is called line thickness you can just drag click and drag and then you can see the line thickness is much thinner okay than before you can set the thickness according to your preference you can also set the opacity opacity one would be good if you like drag and uh, decrease the opacity it's not gonna have you know a clear line so opacity one would be always a good choice i think so but that's how you do it uh if you need to customize it uh if you need to change it a little more you, you can just go to edge times and then you play with it uh especially um this thing here create threshold crease sorry crease th th threshold you're gonna play with this okay drag it and it's gonna adjust accordingly okay and this much is good i guess 94 degree but you can uh, always increase or decrease according to what you want to see okay so this is what i see right now if you go to uh material preview mode you see this okay can increase the crease here can increase the thickness okay so yeah that's how it works so uh, hope this helps you um to some extent some people want to make some animation um that looks like 2d although it's on 3d so yeah if you want to make something look like 2d or 2d art or 2d animation whatever then this is the tool you need um yeah so if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment below and do not forget to subscribe to this channel